Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are out here in Dunedin, Florida, as we have a hoarding job today. You'll see that this is a one bedroom, one bath apartment um, that has consistently grown on the amount of trash that's been there. Good October morning to everybody. First and foremost, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so Spalding Decon is rocking their pink shirts. My name is Steve. I'm the general manager of Spalding Decon Tampa. We are out here in Dunedin, Florida in this three-story condo building as we have a hoarding job today. The customer, they actually have a physical handicap that limits them from moving around and has created a a uh, trash up or a trash build up around themselves because of, because of this physical handicap. Um, you'll see that this is a one bedroom, one bath apartment um, that has consistently grown on the amount of trash that's been there. We're doing a complete trash out of the kitchen, the bathroom, the, the master bedroom, and the living room. Um, we'll show you some film coming up that you can see how, how much we're gonna have to get rid of. Come join us. Once again. You want this studio again? Again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, this is the only set of dishes because what's here is it. Okay. Everything else is fine. Okay. So it's just this. thought about uh, the, the big shovel that you guys have or is that just too big? It's not big, it's just we trying to get all the big stuff up first so then when we come back in and sweep up the small stuff we'll be alright but at the same time she lost her insulin in the mess so we're trying to help her fight her insulin and control that. So how do you know it's trash in the kitchen Ivy? Basically, the very obvious before you got here, the um, the entire countertop was full of garbage. Mm -hmm. So you could definitely tell what was and was not. Now it just mainly, it's stuff that obviously looks unsalvageable or any like plastic or to go kind of stuff, which I already cleared most of that out. Mainly what's left on here now is stuff that are new in the package or is dishes that are gonna be washed in the dishwasher or by myself soon. Okay. So basically besides like obvious like deep clean in the kitchen, we're pretty much done because everything in the cupboards is fine. find expensive items or things that might contain memories such as cameras cell phones you always want to make sure that you clear with the owner whether or not to dispose of them the reason why is they hold precious memories and you might be disposing of those precious memories if you just toss them the owner has already declared that they want to keep these items so right now I'm putting them in a safe place and organizing them for her Oh man, hmm. a good old dollar over here. Do yeah. you know what was on the ground before? Um, huh? Those stones, um, this was all like plastic bags that were like embedded into the tile. Okay. And, and the same thing kind of happened in the fridge. So when I picked them up, they quite literally just peeled off. Oh, oh wow, she's a 007 fan. I like her even more now. <laughs> 
Oh, big time. She's a big James Bond fan. I gotta go see the new one. Listen, that doesn't bother me none either way. No, ma'am, it does not. Stuff has a strong chemical smell. Yeah, it's a shockwave. It's a very strong disinfectant. After we spray it on, we leave it there for about five to ten minutes. Then all this should just come right off. And if it doesn't, usually it takes about one more time and it'll immediately all come right off. You can already see it already starting to come up. Yeah. We gotta deeply saturate it. So it sits for a while. Are you planning to just do that on the stove top or anything? No, I did it in the fridge. In I the took fridge? apart the fridge and I uh, okay. put it on those parts of the fridge. And uh, probably going to do it for the rest of the kitchen. Because we have to have the kitchen done by the end of the day. So she at least has a clean place to eat. Right. All the change you guys found so far? Mm hmm. There's some over there in the cup and everything. Yeah. And on the room and wherever we were at. If she has another jar that you can put change in too. There you go. I consolidated them together. Oh, okay. When you forget your purse at home, you got a, a bag full of quarters that'll do. Or a roll of quarters in our instance. <laughs> Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Sure, say that. How's it going over here so far? Good. Just letting the fridge soak. Uh, letting the stove soak for a second time so I can get the burners all nice and clean. Yeah, you weren't kidding. It cleaned it pretty well. It did. I get yourself your Part B here, commercial degreaser, but you. All you do is you pull these out and pop them back in. That's all, okay? Okay. But if you're having problems with this, you can do part B on it. Um, or if you're having a real issue with them, take them down to the truck and put part A on it. Let them soak, scrub them down there. I don't want to do part A in this, this small apartment. Yeah. But we can use that, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. What's wrong with uh, party, putting Part A in this apartment? So, part, there's not an issue with putting Part A in the apartment. You know, it's good to clean the surfaces. It's just a very strong odor. So when we apply it and it can be too much, it can be very overbearing for somebody. Um, it, it's even overbearing for us. Um, to get, it touches your skin. Turn, it pretty much is like an industrial cleaner. It'll t turn your hand white. Um, so. We don't want to introduce that into places where the client might also touch or inhale, okay? How do you know uh, which papers got saved, Marla? Uh, I ask her first, and she looks through them. She tells me she either wants to keep them or I trash them, but if they have water damage on them, they've been sitting soaking wet, obviously she can't use them, so right. I'll throw those away too. Stuff like, stuff like ads, probably. Yeah, she says she doesn't want them, so she really wants them. So. Oh, you found a nest? Yeah, it's all in there. All oh that, my God. All of that brown stuff, that's all just a thick coat of dead gnats. Oh my God. And that's where a lot of them have been flying out of pestering me. <laughs> Luckily, I got this side clean. It wasn't as bad as this side though, so I just need to do that. And I need to uh, scrub the burners. I'm probably, I'm probably gonna use a wire brush for that. And I just need to get this and uh, the floor of the fridge done. Okay. When I was cleaning up, they were mainly all like when I started throwing away things, they were coming out of here. Because mm -hmm. when I first uh, started cleaning, there was a bunch of fermenting dairy and other um, 
old food products that were primarily in here and in the fridge and in a box that was right down here. And after, as soon as I lifted all of it up, I started getting them in my face. Oh my God. Which is why I'm wearing the mask because they were going in my nose. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. So hopefully as soon as we squash this, a lot of them will start to go away because there's still quite a few yeah. flying around here and bit, yeah. getting all up in my business and they need to mind their business. So. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious item. Looks good. It's like a protein smoothie. So oh yeah. Yeah, the fridge, fridge, fridge looks a lot better. Oh yeah. Some more change. <laughs> yeah, I hear that too. It's a good wow. Yeah, it's a good amount. The bathroom is pretty much clean. We're just gonna need the customer to come in the bathroom with us and let us know how she would like it organized okay. but it and then we can start deep deep cleaning the bathroom after that so bad, Mario? No, it's not. But at the same time, we just got to get it organized and look clean in here. That's all. Yeah. That's it. So what did, what did she ask? Just to... Uh, just to organize and stage it to where she knows where certain stuff is. Okay. And that's it. It's all nice and clean. I tried to scrub the big one as best as I could, but I think there's just damage to the metal. It happens. So after, after the stove... Is it probably just the dirty dishes and probably it? Uh, the counters, the cabinets, and I'm not sure if we are doing the floors today or not. I think that's up to the client. But I also need to wipe down the outside of the fridge. So one of our techs decided to close the door while he was in the bathroom and locked himself in. What? Are you sure that you're locked in there? P Mario, do you know how to... I think you have to push the handle. Push and turn. Because it is locked on this side, oh, too. Right. We'll, we'll come back for you tomorrow, Mario. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, got a key lock or we'll, a headlock? We'll slip under James Bond DVDs under there. <laughs> you, you heard, Martin? <laughs> we'll slip under a, a DVD for you. <laughs> hold on, bud. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, too thick. There it is. Oh. <laughs> that was legit. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man. That's funny. Oh, my oh, man. gosh. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, you go ahead and put that on film, because that really is funny. <laughs> I was wiping it down. Oh. oh. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. needs to be done in this bathroom um so right now we are uh it's been straightened up as you see on the, the countertop it's been clean we put a, some of the stuff that you would like to keep organized up here right now i'm just detailing the bathroom to make it where it's it's enjoyable to to use again
which side is front and which side is back. It's a rug, man. It looks something. the same way all the way through. Not, not all rugs look the same all the way through. Here it is right here. See? Look. That one goes here. That end goes there. You're telling me that the whole entire trim is not like this? I don't know. Maybe. Somebody comment on this right now <laughs> that is. if a rug is directional, I would love to know. I've never seen a directional rug. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's falling. <laughs> Already loaded the gloves. <laughs> yeah, I'm burning my hands. Yeah, Is it that bad? You know, they're like freshly hot. You want to use mine? There you huh? go. You want to use mine? I'll be good. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at the Dunedin Ford job. We are wrapping up day one. Um, we took today, we probably took about 90 garbage bags of trash out um, today and we still have a full day a full day's work when we come back for day two um, but the client now has full access to her kitchen her main hallway her bathroom and now has a walkway to sit in her living room and in in her office space that was our purpose for today one when we arrived here and we talked to the client our number one concern for her was she had lost her insulin in the mountain of product and stuff that she had in her house so we made sure that we had mario our lead tech target that area find that insulin find your medication make sure that she doesn't go without come back for day two so we can show you the end see ya so right now you guys are just folding all the clothes right there yeah we're getting all the clothes separated and nice and neat so that she can come in here once we're done and she can go through all the stuff and whatever she wants she keeps and whatever she doesn't that's what we trash grab a trash bag like i say it's like a blast from the past some people probably don't even know what these are for. I don't even know what those are for. What are, what are those? <laughs> these are the hang-up pants. Like when you finish ironing your pants and you don't want the wrinkles and stuff, and the creases come out of your pants, just clip it to this, just hang it up in the closet. Okay, I didn't know you needed something specific. <laughs> yeah. Cassettes, yeah. Cassette tapes, cassette tapes, all kinds of old stuff in here. Look at that. Yeah, well this is personal items for her. So. I'll let her go through all of this stuff too. Oh, that is old. It's not it as old as that one, but mm -hmm. it's an older style. But yeah, yeah staple. staple too. But all this old stuff in here, man. It's personal items to there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The stuff that we grew up on before you guys knew what the new I stuff is. Use that one. Oh, it's still heavy. Yeah, it's still heavy. Yeah, and it's just the kind you can't throw at someone. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> took it. Took a second. Yeah. I'm stuck. What is this? I'm really stuck. I've never is seen that it. a shoe cleaner? I think so. The, like the, the shine your shoes? Yes. That's, that's exactly what it is. You plug it up, and you, I guess you either turn it on, you pump it, you shoot your shoes on it. You're full of all these, all these facts, Mario, about, about ancient times. Yeah. <laughs> I miss it. I'm not going to lie to you. I miss it. Plenty of books. Books. Monopoly. <laughs> Books, books, books. While we're trying to decide what what stays and what goes, we're gonna move, clean, move back, clean, okay. move, clean, okay. okay. And then once she dis she gives us direction on stay or go, then we'll we'll organize based on stay or go. Okay. Yeah. So basically, what's gonna happen is we're gonna clean up all this stuff back here. Get the DVDs, cassette tapes, and all that. I have a case for them here that already has old cassettes in it. Once we clean this stuff out, I'll go and get the filing cabinet and put it right back over here on this side. And then we just clean up the rest of this and then work our way around, going back around the sofa. And I gotta get all this cleared off the table. That looks like the current game plan for right now. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> These are from that I created. Some of them are from when I was a DJ. Oh yeah, me too. 
as a wedding DJ, so you know, you make all that mm -hmm. fun stuff and you like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at there. Look at there. <laughs> Look at there. Fit, fit. Guess what's gonna get done? Laundry! <laughs> Filing, it looks like. Nope, those are pictures. She might want to keep. So, I'll leave that one. All right, Mara, so how did the job go today? Uh, it went fairly smooth. Um, we got majority of the work done on Friday. We just had to come back to do uh, the touch up, everything else that we didn't get, and to do a, f a final deep clean. Um, overall, the client, she was real happy. She was satisfied. Um, she wants to use us again for her services, probably weekly or monthly. So that's a, a good thing on our part, at least. Yeah. All in all, I think it was a successful two days that we were here to get the job done. Yes, Hi, sir. Mario. It was no a problem. good job today. Yes, sir. Thank you, yeah. sir. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.